going to Genesis, Genesis 2, in the 15th verse. And as you find it, I will go to the Lord in prayer. Father God in heaven, I come tonight, God, just to tell you thank you. I come, God, to ask you to use me to your glory, to your will, and to way, God. Father God, I ask you, let me decrease, God, you increase, God. Hide me behind your cross, God. I thank you, God, for Pastor County as you continue to bless him, continue to lead him and guide him, God. Continue to let him be strong in you, God. I thank you, God, that you continue to keep us, God. Keep us in your will, your word, and your way, God. Thank you, God. Let me continue to be a vessel used for you, God. And let me decrease in Jesus' name, I do pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Genesis 2, and starting at the 15th verse, and it reads, And the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of eating to dress it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, A every tree of the garden thou may freely eat. Verse 17, But of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, Thou shalt not eat of it, for in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. And my key verse is verse 15. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of eating to dress it and to keep it. And just for a little while tonight, living in paradise and you don't know it. Living in paradise and you don't know it. Well, I look up the word paradise to see what it is, and it said in religion, paradise is a place or exception. And then paradise, the word paradise means happiness and delight, a place of content, a place of peace, a place of prosperity, and a place of happiness. You living in paradise and you don't even know it. Now we know the story. We know the story about Adam and Eve while they was in the garden. And how God had gave them some rules and he gave them some instructions. But you know what? They did not follow God's rules and they did not follow the instructions that God had given to them. It's just like that today. God is giving out rules and God is giving out instruction, but some people do not follow the rules of God and they do not follow the instructions. God told you to go left and you turn right. You did not follow the instructions of God. God said, trust me. And you said, how long, God? Proverbs 3 and 5 tell us. It says, trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not to thy own understanding. And verse 6 says, in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. God has brought you this far, and you cannot turn around now. Where are you going to go? For it's not the same anymore. The music you used to listen to is not the same. The places you used to go, they are not the same. The drinks you used to drink, it's not the same anymore. Pastor teached us a lesson, and he said that Hennessy is not for me. You living in paradise, and you don't even know it. Bless your name, God. Okay. The reason some people look old is because they've been drinking too long. God been trying to come get them to come on home and they say, no God, I want to stay out here a little bit longer but time is running out. You must come in to God. Come in to God while you have a chance. Come in to God while the blood is still running warm in your veins. Come in to God. Some people decided not to choose God's way. They decided to choose the devil way. They said, I want a drink. They said, I want a drug. They said, I want to do the wang wang. And you know what that is. Bless your name, God. If you don't know, I'll break it down to you. But I believe you know what it is. 
Thank you, God. And God told us, he said, I never leave thee nor forsake thee. And Deuteronomy 31 and 6, the latter part says, I will never fail thee or never forsake thee. And then the word said it again in Deuteronomy 31 and 8. It said, I will never fail thee or never forsake thee. If you stay with God, you will think, see things happen around you. Things will happen, and it won't even church you. Thank you. Thank you, God. You must have faith. Now, our children in this church, they don't have any doubt. They don't have any, any unbelief in them. They was birthed into the life called righteousness. Now, Ephesians tell us and tell our children, it says, Ephesians 6, it says, Children, obey your parents and the Lord, for this is right. If you obey your parents and the Lord, they'll lead you in the right direction. Thank you, God, that God is leading us. He's leading us in the right direction. Bless your name, God. Now, if you stay with the Lord, you will see miracles happen. You will see people get up out of wheelchairs. Bless your name, God. You will see blind eyes open. It happened in the Bible, y'all, and it can happen today. It happened in the Bible, y'all, and it's still happening today. Bless your name, God. You will see healing. The body of Christ need a healing. The enemy is out to get the body of Christ. So, God, we must speak healing over our people. The enemy is trying to attack the body of Christ. If the enemy cannot get to you, he'll try to get to your children. If the enemy cannot get to you, he'll try to get to your leader. Hold the man of God up in prayer. Hold up his hand. long as you're holding his hand up, he'll win the battle. But if you don't hold his hands up, he'll lose the battle. Hold up the man of God every chance you get. You're living in paradise, and you don't even know it. Bless your name, God. Listen, Mr. Wade, the enemy tried to attack your son, but somebody was praying for him. The enemy tried to get your son, Mr. Wade, but God stepped in right on time. The word tell us in Isaiah, it said Isaiah 59 and the 19 verse, the part B verse. It said, when the enemy come in like a flood, it said, God will raise up a standard against him. Bless your name, God. Whatever the enemy trying to do to you, he can't get you because my God got you. He got the blood over you. He got you covered. Bless your name, God. Keep the man of God lifted up. Keep the man of God lifted up. Keep him lifted up, my children. He go through so much. He has so many things to do. Don't worry, the man of God. Don't worry, the man of God, with pitiful stuff. Don't worry, the man of God, with little bitty issues. Don't worry, the man of God, because he's seeking the Lord. Whatever you need, call upon our God. Bless your name, God. Be careful of nothing, because Philippians, thank you, God, 4 and 6 says, be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made unto God. Bless your name, God. You're living in paradise, and you don't even know it. Thank you, God. Bless your name. Thank you, God. Listen to what God told me. He said, you don't have to want for anything. He said, you don't have to be hungry for anything. You haven't went a day in your life without something to eat. Thank you, God. And we live in this lifestyle that God has given to us. It's a good lifestyle. It's a blessed lifestyle. We don't want to go back, back out into the world. We don't want to go back and muller in the dirt. 
We don't want to go back and do like the pigs do. They wall in the mud and they get back up again. You've been clean from the mud. You've been clean from the dirt. You've been clean from the world. Now stay in God's house. Bless your name, God. You're living in paradise and you don't even know it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Now spread this word that God have given to you. Seek God. And God said in his word, he says, seek him. Matthew 6 and 33, he said, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Thank you, God. Listen to this. As he said this into me, it came into my mind about the little bit of boy with the two fishes and the five loaves of bread. Thank you, God. He had two fishes and he had five loaves of bread. He had enough food to feed me and you. Bless your name, God. And listen to this. If you ever get hungry, our pastor have all some laying on Sherry Drive. It's got a pond down there. It's got some fish down there. Go down there and catch you some fish and clean them fish and eat them fish. You will never get hungry because you can go fishing and get you some fish and eat that fish. Bless your name, God. You're living in paradise, and you don't even know it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He's worthy to be prayed. The fish is fresh. It's fresh every day. The fish don't get stale. It's fresh every day. He's in the pond. He's waiting on you to come and catch him, to come and clean him, to come and eat him. Just like the fish in the pond, we got fishes out in the street. We need to go out into the street and tell the fish about Jesus. I'm talking about the people in the world. Go out and tell the people about Jesus. They're coming to the house. Come into his house. Bless your name, God. He's worthy to be praised. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He's worthy to be praised. We're living in paradise, and we don't even know it. Bless your name, God. Listen to this. We got people in the hospital, and they don't even know how to call on the name of Jesus. I'm not talking about our people. I'm talking about other saints. They don't know how to call on Jesus. They don't know how to do what the Word tell them to do. The Word tell them in 5 and 14 James, it said, call for the elders of the church. Call for the elders of the church. Let them lay hands on you. Get you some oil and let them lay hands on you. Stop calling on your mama, telling her your problem. Stop calling daddy, telling him your problem. But call on my God and tell him your problem. Bless your name, God. He's worthy to be praised. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Let me teach you if you don't know. If you don't know about laying on the hands, let me teach you if you don't know. If you get some anointing oil and call on the name of the Lord and believe what this word say, you will get healed. You will get delivered. You will get up about your sickness. Good God Almighty, you will get delivered if you're on cocaine. God can't deliver you if you're drunk. God can't deliver you if you're drinking too much. God can't deliver you. Bless your name, God. We're living in paradise, and we don't even know it. Thank you, God. I need the church to get a little more Sunday day and see. The church can't agree with me. The enemy is attacking. He's attacking our peoples. He's attacking our, our soldiers. 
Bless your name, God. We're going to send this word to the hospital. We're going to send it for Minnesota, Sonia. Send it to the hospital right now. Thank you, God. Minnesota, Sonia, I speak to your body. I speak to your vessels. I speak to your mind. I speak to your spirit. Get a Minnesota, Sonia, in the name of Jesus. You already here, Minnesota, Sonia. God already here. To the devil is a liar and God is a supplier. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You're living in paradise and you don't even know it. 